please ignore my hair like i know i look crazy but i wanted to get this video done yet i do need to wash my hair so i just had to go with the flow not everything is glitz and glam when it comes to motherhood okay so ignore my hair okay just focus on the video focus on what i'm talking about ignore ignore what's going on up here <laughs> Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys all of the natural products that I use on my son. He is now eight months, no, he's actually seven months, making eight months soon. However, these are products that I either used to use on him, still use on him, or maybe products I've bought but and tried and maybe stopped using because I didn't like how it worked. However, he has a very sensitive skin. So I'm very particular about what I use on his skin and um, these are just some of the products that I've been trying so far. I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything from what I actually put on his skin, in his hair, um, what I wash his clothes with, what I wash out his bottle with, everything natural or at least as toxic free as possible. And um, if you are expecting or if you are a new mom or already a mother and wants to go that natural route these may be some of the products that you can look into however if you're already a mother and already using natural products and want to share what you use with me be sure to list that in the comments below i love to try new things um so let's get right into this video oh, before we get into this video please 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 take a moment to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. So the first product I'm sharing with you guys is First Bees Baby Shampoo and Wash. This is actually not the main um, body wash and shampoo I use on him. From the time he was born, I've been using um, Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Chamomile. It's actually the Shea Moisture body wash for this lotion. That's what I usually use on him. However, I am out. And when I went to buy more, for some reason, my local Walmart and Walgreens was completely out of it. And I needed something right away. And this was the next best thing on the shelf. So I decided to try this out. I do like it. However, I do prefer the Shea Moisture um, shampoo and baby wash. So once this finished, I'm going right back to that. And uh, yeah, uh, this does say it's natural and it doesn't have all, no toxin, toxic, toxic, uh, it does not have any toxic ingredients and I do like how it smells however I just personally prefer the Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Chamomile Baby Shampoo and Wash so so um when he first when he was a newborn all I use on his skin in terms of after I give him a bath was coconut oil and that was a hundred percent cold press handmade coconut oil this is actually the bottle it came in i got this my fiance friend actually sent us like four bottles of four bottles of these um from nevis and that's all i used on his skin and his hair when he was first born however as he got older this just wasn't enough being that we do live in florida and the water here is way harder it's also you know he, we live in air condition and you know sometimes it get cold or whatever so it was just too much for his skin so he needed something a little bit more than just the coconut oil as he got older now i use this alone for like i'll say at least the first four months of his life um, and that's just an estimate i can't i honestly can't remember but um when i needed to use something more i started using my diy hair and body butter and because this was thicker it um it was better for his skin so i would use this as well as the shea moisture argan oil and chamomile um, baby lotion and i would pair these two together by like one once he finishes bath i would put this on his skin and then put this on his skin and that really helped moisturize his skin because after a while i and i noticed the water that's why i had to get a shower head filter but um it, he would get like little dry patches on his skin so when i combine these two that really helped clear up his skin as well as getting a 
shower head filter so that you know the water isn't as harsh this is almost done and i don't well i didn't really plan on repurchasing it has more in here but it doesn't come to the pump anymore i actually have to open it and like try and shake it out so recently i actually made a different body butter that actually has aloe vera gel and um glycerin so this is way more moisturizing by itself than this and now this is all i use on his skin i don't even have to pair it with a lotion this leaves his skin so smooth so for right now this is all i'm using again i made this by myself so i know everything in it is natural and it's been working great on his skin at one point i did purchase this baby lotion by era organic is lavender and vanilla baby lotion it says it's extra soothing and moisturizing however when i got it i use it on his skin once first of all i didn't really like the smell it smells okay but i don't really care for it it smells like a old lavender if that makes sense and then the reason why i didn't use it on his skin is because it I squeeze out too much that's how it looks but when I would put it on his skin, it gave this like beady residue and I'm going to show you because it used to happen when I did it on my own skin too. It gave like this beady sticky residue on it and I didn't like how that felt on his skin so I just basically stopped using it. It's already showing up and I don't think the camera is going to um, pick it up but I get like these little beady, you know how like when you put glue on your hand and you rub your hand together, it's happening. <laughs> I don't think the camera is going to pick it up, but you see that? That's from the lotion. And that would be all over his skin after I lotion him down. So I stopped using this. I don't use it anymore. And nor do I recommend it. So yeah, that's that. Moving right along. Then I have this. Is the California Baby Calendula Cream. I actually bought this by mistake. I thought it was a diaper cream. But it's not it's actually a moisturizing cream for sensitive skin and although it works great and i like it and i do keep this in his bag to put on his skin or whatever if we're out um i wouldn't buy it again because this little draw was like 15 dollars from target and that's not worth it to me for this when i can achieve the same moisturizing results with my own body butter so if you are looking for an alternative, I do recommend it, but it is expensive. And um, yeah, but it's the ingredients are great. Um, again, it's great for sensitive skin. And you can use it on yourself as well, but I've had this for a while, which shows you I barely use it because it's just so expensive. Next are diaper creams. So when he was born about 10 days in, he got his first diaper rash. And if you watch my um, new mom video, the first three months was hard or something. I think that's what it's titled. I talk about, you know, him getting a diaper rash or something. But anyways, uh, if you watch that video, I didn't mention it. So he got a diaper rash. And if you know a newborn with a diaper rash, it's horrible. They are uncomfortable. They scream, they cry. And I just needed something to clear that up as fast as possible. But the first thing I bought was this one by Birds and Bees and it was working, it was helping to dry it out, but it wasn't drying it out as fast as I wanted it to. So my pediatrician recommended getting one with a higher concentration of the um, zinc oxide. So I went and I bought this because somebody recommended this to me and I did use it on him and it did dry up the diaper rash quick. but. I didn't read the ingredients like I normally do before I purchase something so I stopped using it on him because it had stuff in it that I did not really want to put on his skin which was like petroleum and you know some other stuff so I don't use this anymore I did at the beginning when he got his first diaper rash it cleared it up and after that I just made sure that he never got a next one or if I ever saw one coming up that I, I used this right away to make sure it cleared up right away. So that's that. Then after a while, um, I think one day I was in the store and instead of purchasing another one of this, cause this is actually empty, I went and I bought this. Is Babo Botanicals. It's a sensitive baby fragrance free diaper cream. It helps protect the skin against moisture, soothes the baby delicate bottom. And it says it's 25% 
non nano zinc oxide so this has been helping me prevent him from getting a horrible diaper rash like he did at the, f at the first time when he first got his first diaper rash I thought it was because I wasn't using powder on him so I went and I bought this so this is a dusting powder that is talc free and 100% natural it worked however I'm not gonna say no I'm not gonna say it worked it did not work for me putting it in his pamper because it had fragrance in it and again he has really sensitive skin so I had to keep everything fragrance free so um, I stopped using this in his diaper and I just started using it like on his body around his neck or whatever so that's what I use for that but um for his diaper I just use a hundred percent cornstarch non GMO cornstarch that's it either cornstarch or arrowroot powder um, I have a little like powder dispenser that I would fill up with the arrowroot powder and I use that. I would keep it in his um, baby bag to walk around with. This one stays in our room and is either 100% corn starch or 100% arrowroot powder. That's all I use on his bottom in terms of powder. Now for wipes. My favorite natural baby wipe is by Honest Brand. So I've used initially Pampers Pure. I so regret using Pampers Pure anything because that is what caused his initial diaper rash. But ever ever since I started using this, I didn't have that issue. The, the, the material of Honest Baby Wipes are so much more sturdy and better and is not too wet. It's wet enough to clean your baby's bottom, but it's not like wet where you can wring it out. And Pampers Pure it was like almost dripping. <laughs> So this is my go-to wipes. They are the most expensive wipes I've seen so far, but it's so worth it, so I buy it for him. I've actually tried seventh generation wipes, but I don't like it. Even though it's natural, I don't like it because the material, it almost like um, sheds when you're wiping it on your on your skin. So I don't use seventh generation. I bought it once and never bought it again. A new wipe that I'm now trying is by Diaper diaper as in d-y-p-e-r and this is like the next best thing to honest so far and it's bamboo is a hundred percent natural bamboo baby wipes fragrance free and the ingredients are simple and straight to the point like how i like it there is no alcohol no animal testing no chemicals it's like let me just tell y'all what's in here what's the ingredients and i love that they have the ingredients on the package it's just bamboo reverse osmosis, purified water, glycerin, and aloe extract. That's it. And the material is so soft and silky. This is the material here. This is just an old dry wipe, but this is from the pack. It's so soft and silky. So this will be my go-to wipe other than this whenever I can't get this. But these two, I definitely recommend if you're looking for natural baby wipes. Let's move right along to Pampers. Okay, so Pampers, I should probably make a video in itself about Pampers because, oh my gosh, I've been on a roller coaster ride when it comes to Pampers. Let me, okay. Pampers is the brand. I don't know why, but I people have a, a, a habit of calling every brand of a diaper Pampers. We call everything Pampers. But um, let me be politically correct and say diapers. After my roller coaster of all the Pampers I've tried, I mean, all the diapers I've tried, these are the two I finally decided on and I'm sticking to. Um, the next best thing to these I would think is cloth diapers and I, like I shared on a previous video, I did want to do cloth diapering but Andy Pandy. <laughs> this is my go-to disposable diaper. It is bamboo. The material is so soft and silky oh my gosh it is literally and don't get me wrong you have other natural pampers they have other natural diapers out there that work for example I did try honest brand um, diapers for a while however he used to get a lot of blowouts when I use those diapers so I kind of stopped no I didn't kind of stop I did stop once I found found these so um, and the other okay the other natural diapers I've used I stopped using it for one reason or the other so far this is what I'm using because one he has not been getting any blowouts with these they're durable 
However, there are some cons to using these and I'm gonna tell you guys what they are. One, because the material is made out of bamboo and it's so soft and silky on the outside, when he's wearing the diaper without no pants and no onesie on, they get like linty, like beady and linty. And even though there's just an aesthetic thing, like it just don't look nice, kind of make it look like dirty or whatever. That's like one downfall to it, but um, it's very rare. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. It's literally, the material is so soft. There is literally no chemicals in this pamper, in this diaper, oh my God. It says no perfumes or lotions, no alcohol or preservative, no latex, PVC, TBT, or antioxidant. That. And 100% chlorine free. That is very important. So, in December when I went home, I actually ordered one of these packs to ship straight to St. Croix because I know I was going to be there for a while. However, they had a delay in my order and I ended up running out of diapers before my order came. And I had to go to Kmart and buy some Huggies diapers for him and guess what happened? He got a diaper rash. I saw it coming so I started to use the, the diaper cream to try and prevent it. Every commercial diaper I've used so far has given my son a diaper rash. So even though these diapers are mad more expensive, I'm happily dishing out those coins because it's for his best interest. This brand here is actually by this company, Diaper, D-Y-P-E-R. And you don't see a label on here because it actually comes in a big box. But again, these are also bamboo and also perfume and latex free and all of that 100% chlorine free and they actually look exactly like Andy Pandy so this is Andy Pandy and this is diaper they look the same they feel the same the only way I could tell them apart is by the pattern at the top so you see this pattern by Andy Pandy is kind of like straight lines and this pattern up here is like um little waves the reason why i purchased this is because it works out cheaper so with this company is a subscription they're both subscriptions however with any kind you can get it on amazon so that's a plus and that two-day delivery comes in clutch you can subscribe straight on their website and get like five percent off and that's what i do i found this company diaper who would who sends you like a big box of of diapers every month for I think $64 a month and you get to return whatever you don't need or if you run out they send you more at no additional cost so this works out cheaper because I've been buying like two packs of these a month and one pack is like $35 so this is slightly cheaper and a better deal and I still get the great quality of a natural diaper yes if you, your baby not wearing a pants or a onesie, this part here gets kind of beady and linty. And the flap here you have to be careful with. And also, I don't know if this happens to anybody else that uses this, but for me, my son, um, when he pees, most of his pee stays in the front of the diaper. Um, he, it doesn't like, he never feels like soak or anything, but I realize that it takes longer for him to fill, um, fill up the back of his pants. So sometimes I would change him, because I know he needs to change, but back here would be very, very dry and up here would be full of all the pee. So, I mean, for some that would be like a, a con or whatever, but I don't mind, because this is not giving my son a diaper rash and it's natural, so that's all I really care about. My son, and I talked about this in my previous video about life as a new mom, my son suffered with gas and colic for the first three, four months of his life. It was, it was pretty bad. So, of course, I used bright water. So the first Gret water I ever purchased was this. And it didn't work the way I needed it to work because it like it was affecting him really bad. I think my cousin recommended this one to me. And so I went and tried this one because it had like organic ginger and fennel in it. It had no dye or paraben, um, is 100% vegan. 
like it was natural and I was willing to try just about anything and once it wasn't once it was toxic free vegan and natural so I tried this and it actually didn't work for him it worked for her daughter which was great but it didn't work for him the only thing that worked for him and my aunt and my friend and Eva's actually recommended this from, from to me because they both had sons who had who suffered with gas and colic really bad and they told me this is the only one that worked for their sons so I went ahead and tried it and this is literally the only thing that worked for for my son as well and it's by colic calm so it's colic calm gripe water is a homeopathic medicine it is a hundred percent natural do your research on this like do your own research like don't even take my word for it do your own research because I did I did my research as well and this is not the original one I used to get. This one is Colic Calm Plus. But just the regular Colic Calm is what I actually used to use. You don't even use this no more. You don't need it. But let me tell you. And the liquid is black. It's actually black in here. And that might turn certain people off. But like I said, do your own research and you'll realize why it's black. And why people still buy it and rave about it. And it's like I said, 100% natural. The ingredients are great. And it literally helped him so much. This is what helped me get through that whole colic and gassy phase. The only downfall is this is mad expensive. This little two ounce bottle is like $22 or $24 depending on where you get it. I think it's a little cheaper on Amazon, but in your local Walgreens, this shit is like $24. It is expensive, but let me tell you, I bought bottle after bottle after bottle because that is what worked, and I just needed my son to have a little bit of relief. Again, just a little disclaimer, this is not going to cure the baby's colic or gas because that all has to do with the development of their digestive system and they have to grow through it. However, it makes it much easier for them. Not as painful, they're not as fussy. So as soon as I give him a dose of this, he literally calms down within minutes. So. Like I said, it's not going to cure it. It's not a problem to cure it. It's just a problem to soothe so that they're not as fussy and cranky. And that is what this does. Whew, this video is going to be long, y'all. I've mentioned in previous videos that he was born with a minor case of cradle cap. So, of course, I, I wash his hair and I would have to oil it and make sure I get all the cradle cap out. Sorry, my camera died. So, my camera stopped recording before it died and I had no idea so I'm kind of picking picking up where I thought I left off I didn't realize it until now that I'm editing however everything I'm talking about will be in the description box below so be sure to check that out yes yeah, so I actually bought this while I still had some of this just to try something different and this is not what's up okay this is literally has no slip to it to this to detangle anybody's hair it could not it's not a good detangler for my son here I still use it just as a, like a, a moisturizer like a little light moisturizer but it's not a good detangler and I'm not even gonna lie I'm not gonna repurchase it once it's finished however I do I do recommend this it, it works so once this finished I needed something else so I went and I purchased this since this just was not working enough and again this did not it's not a great detangler like it's a great moisturizer but it wasn't the best detangler per se so i i don't even use it anymore i haven't used this in like about two months honestly um and i'm gonna tell you why in a little bit but um i'm probably gonna use it till it's finished and um but for right now i found what works for him and that is this this is by babu botanicals is a smoothing detangling spray and this detangles his hair better than both of these and this as well as moisturize his hair better than all three of those previous products so this for sure is going to be my go-to and um again it's all natural it is toxic free cruelty free and um it's what's been working so far Ooh. now 
Besides that, I recently decided to make my own detangler slash moisturizer using aloe vera. So um, if you haven't watched my DIY video doing that, be sure to go and check that out. But this is what I've been using now to detangle his hair. And this is what I've been using to moisturize his hair. So this detangles his hair better than everything else I've been trying. So this is my go-to detangler. This is literally aloe vera gel, gel straight out of the aloe leaf that I made by hand. And I, keep, I do keep this in the fridge. But um, definitely these two are my go-to products for his hair right now. Along with this Jamaican black castor oil. I put this mainly on his scalp. So this is all I'm using in his hair right now. Oh, I did forget to mention, I just saw this. This is empty, but this is one of the diaper creams that I started using to maintain, um, not maintain, but basically prevent him from getting any additional diaper rashes because after he got his first one, I was basically paranoid, okay? Even though I switched up his diapers, like I was just paranoid. So I had buy this because it was more natural, it didn't have any of the um, oxide, zinc oxide in it, and I just wanted something to maintain, you know, what I had going on so he don't get another diaper, so he don't get another diaper rash, and this worked wonders. I've actually bought like a good three, four um, jars of this, but it's very expensive. So now that he's older, see, this is empty. So um, now that he's older, like I don't use any of it. I don't use any diaper cream on him. I just use the cornstarch or our root powder. But um, if I ever have to use diaper cream again, these two would be my go-to. Just wanted to. Now, let's go to what I wash his clothes with. Um, don't worry, I'm wrapping this up. So, um, the first baby detergent I purchased was by Anis, and um. That lasted me a long ass time because come on it's baby clothes however when I went to repurchase um, they didn't have any so I went ahead and I bought this by seventh generation and it works just as great um, again it's for sensitive skin there's no fragrances dyes or artificial brighteners and uh, like I said my son has sensitive skin so this is what I wash his clothes with. In terms of stains and odors, um, I do use this by Baby Ganic. I just basically open this and pour it into the detergent dispenser along with the detergent just to give it a little boost. But um, I've never really had to use this. I have. I've used this to take out, to, to wash out um, stains before, like when he have a blowout in his diaper or whatever. And it does work however I just right now I just use it as a boost because I don't really have stains to wash out of his clothes right now so this is what I wash his clothes with right now but um, the honest baby um, detergent works well works really well too I I'll actually repurchase that if I needed to last but not least um, I wash his bottles or um, his passy or whatever I'm washing for him I do use the honest baby dish soap this is literally the one bottle I've bought since he's been born and right now it's down here so I probably would never have to really repurchase this but this is what I use for his bottles his passies whatever I'm washing or rinsing out for him I think I covered everything um, in terms of natural products that I use on his skin, anything that touches his skin or going inside his body, I think I covered everything. And uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this about motherhood and babies and whatever. I'll be sure to share more videos like this. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And you guys will see me in my next one. Peace. And you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic, and everything you do is an honor. Perfect, it's ended. The sun is missing, and everything you do.